What's up guys, Uncle Drew here. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at two PC cases that I found on eBay. Now the most important thing about these cases is not just the price, but what comes with it at the price that it's at. It is currently retailed at $60 on eBay, which is why I bought these both of these cases. To my left is the Techware Nexus Evo. And the one to my right here is also from Techware, but this is the Nexus C. And we're gonna be taking a look at both of these cases here because I think that if you are looking for a new case today, this is your best option. Let's take a look. Okay guys, you get to watch me be silly as I do a voice over here. Let's talk about these cases. But before we begin, I do want to talk about my giveaways. Now, in order for me to give the things away that I do, I need to make sure that you like and subscribe, leave a comment on the video, but also watch the entire video as well. YouTube looks at this to make sure that they can continue to promote it. And in order to do that, you gotta hit that like button and make sure you watch the whole video. Now the giveaway at the end of this video is going to be an Xbox Game Pass three month subscription. And I'm giving that one away. And I'm also gonna be giving away a couple of other things in the future. And so you need to make sure that you watch the entire video and what it's gonna to take to give this PC away. So stay to the end and let's begin. Now, the benefit of these cases is that it comes with specific things that I think cases should come in general, just because they can get it at lower prices. And that is the fans. Both of these cases come with three fans. You can see on the inside of there, two in the front and one in the back. And it's a whole lot better when cases do this, especially at this price range. Both of these cases are $60. And it's actually pretty nice to see that these cases come with this because a lot of the cases like the NZXT or the Fractal Design, they're good cases, but they only come with one, maybe two fans. Or if they come with more fans, they're a lot more expensive. That is, the cases are more expensive. So this one here, when I saw this, I thought this was a really good case because this came with three fans. And the fans are actually pretty good and the airflow is actually pretty decent, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. And you can see the airflow and which way it comes here. You can see two vents, both on, on one on either side of the case. And then you have uh, mounting areas for two fans on the top. You can also put a radiator up there if you really wanted to, but I, I know you could fit at least a uh, 240 mil rad in the front of the case. You have a space for, well, you have a hard drive caddy, both two of them for SSDs or, you know, two and a half inch say, uh, hard drives in the, in the inside and they are removable, which is nice. You get your USB 3.0 port on the top and two USB 2.0 ports on the top. Get your headphone jack, you have power button and reset button. And then you, of course you have the intake. It comes with a little mesh on the inside, so that's pretty sweet. So let's take a look at the back here. Now the cable managing was actually pretty good and it give you enough spots so you can cable manage in enough areas to where whenever you do the zip ties, you can actually pretty much route the cables wherever you want, which is nice. And it's got these little hook things at the top of the case. Uh, that you can route like little cables like the, the fan cables so that uh, they're not just hanging around or if you can't really get it across well. All right, so let's take a look now at the one I really wanted to see, which is the Techware Nexus Evo. And I like this one, not just because uh, it looks really good, which it, I think it really does look really nice, but it has RGB, but it's not on the fans. It's a middle strip that goes down the middle of the, of the case, like the front of the case. And it is addressable, so it has a button at the bottom where you could decide what color you want it to be. And it has a different profile, so we'll take a look at that. But the internals of this is basically the same. You get two fans in the front and one fan in the back. You have the airflow coming from the bottom and the top, and of course the sides as well going into the case. So let's take a look at the front of the case here. I'm just gonna pop off the front so you can see the RGB strip that it has there. And so as you could tell, just one RGB strip just straight down the middle. And then you can see the fans there. And again, the mounting is the same. You could put a 240 mil rad in the front if you want. Okay, I wanna show you two pictures of uh, two cases, the NZXT H510 and the Fractal Define S2, because I think the case to your left looks similar to both. It took that bottom panel from the NZXT and then it took the air vents from the Fractal. And I like that they did that because aesthetically, it makes sense and functionally it makes sense as well. There's no point of putting glass all the way down the entire frame of the case on the side. It's better to just have it where you're actually gonna see the components you're actually going to see on the computer. So I really like that because aesthetically I think it's pleasing and also it cuts down on cost so you make sure that you have a $60 case. Makes sense to me. This is one of the reasons why I really like this case. And also as far as the metal is concerned on the case itself, it's not as sturdy as you would see like for instance on the NZXT 
but it's not like a raid max case like some of the ones that i've seen that i've purchased myself to see if they're good cases so they went a little little lighter on the metal but they were able to include the three fans i like that better because i think they're thinking about what people want people want to see the glass but they don't want to see the whole thing so they cut down on cost on that because no point of putting glass on the entire side panel just put it on the part that people are actually going to see now we're taught on this next part so we're going to go ahead and build in this case let's take a look at what it looks like in four three two one and we're back so let's take a look at this case now we went with an all white and black theme there's some gray in here too because we used the b450 tomahawk but uh, i really like this case uh, i think the thermals are good and i also think that the build was actually really easy uh, cable managing and the routing and all that was pretty decent but let's first start with the rgb now here we are with the rgb and i turned off the lights so you could see what it looks like i gotta say i really like what they did here with uh, money saving the rgb helps the light strip helps having it like this because if the fan goes out for whatever reason you can replace the fan and still have rgb that looks like it's coming from the fan and as it goes into the case i put the light at white and so it just looks like a just you know normal white light going through the case i didn't have all the rgb going part should have just to show you guys i like that they did it this way because it is money saving just to put an led strip on the front of the case is better than having it individually per fan not because it doesn't look good any other way but because it's so much easier to replace a fan with no rgb and you still get the rgb this way so i like that i like the airflow too the airflow is really good as well here are some numbers with the temps with the ryzen 1600 af and rx 570 although i did end up testing with the rx 5700 xt just for temps just to make sure that the temps were going to be good inside the case if you decided to upgrade in the future and it did just fine we have 16 gigabytes of g scale ram clocked at 3200 megahertz now that red led strip coming from the motherboard is addressable so once you get everything set up you can go ahead and change that to whatever color you want to not too bad really happy with this case you get so much for the cost and i can appreciate that you know you have the two fans at the front the one in the back you can still put two more fans at the top and at this budget price you just really can't beat it really happy with this all right, so you guys ready for this? So what I wanna do, I'm actually going to give away a Xbox Game Pass three months um, with this video. So if you are the, this person, congratulations, you have won that. Make sure to DM me in the about page of my channel. I'm also gonna give another one away at 750 subscribers. And if we reach 1,000 subscribers within this video and get 5,000 likes, I'm gonna give this PC away. And as I said before, it's the Ryzen 1600 AF. We have the motherboard B450 Tomahawk. It is going to be the G skill, 16 gigabytes of RAM at 3200 megahertz. And of course the power supply, I think it's a thermal take, 650 watt gold. And of course, this case as well. So if you wanna win that case, that's what you gotta do. Make sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment in the video, tell me why you want it specifically and what you would use it for. Uh, let me know what you liked about this video as well. And thank you all you beautiful and smiling faces and I will see you guys in the next video.